Let us remember we're in the holy presence of God and let us adore him. Now, during the times that we spend praying, you may notice that there are often prayers that we say every time or maybe nearly every time. One of the most common prayers that we say is the glory be. And the glory be is quite a short prayer uh, and it's usually used as a way of summing up all of the intentions and the prayers that we say over a course of praise. It's also referred to in some older prayer books uh, as a doxology, which is really just a fancy name for a short expression for praise of God. The Glory Be uh, is actually also recited at the end of every Hail Mary um, when we pray the Rosary. The tradition of doxologies comes from Jewish synagogues actually. Uh, St Paul often used very similar prayers to the Glory Be that we know now in his letters. For example, he referred to the only wise God through Jesus Christ, be on earth forever and ever, Amen, at the end of his letter to the Romans. That's just a slightly longer Glory Be. Now, we call upon ourselves and we call upon each other to give the glory to God. We take a moment to look at God's glory uh, and by doing this we take a moment to look at all creation as it was God that gifted us everything around us. Now to end this prayer we'll say the glory be. The glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.